Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to remove a bumper, front bumper, to replace this front grille here for a 2009 B8 S5. So I have this RS grille on here that I'm actually going to be removing and putting on the black optics grille, which is going to be this one here. And I will show you how it's done. So first, we're going to have to start up the car and rotate the tires to the right so that you can get behind the wheel well here to remove two screws on this side. And once that's done, I'm going to rotate the wheel to the right and remove two screws from this side. And then underneath, there's going to be, it should be one right here. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. One right there. Oh, sorry, two right there. And there's going to be one right here. Then going along the front, there should be one more in front here. And then you have this one. And then going underneath back here, you should have two more. So we'll do those. And then I believe underneath the hood, there should be four more. But we'll get to that. Uh, I'll show you that when we get there. All right, to my nifty tool set. Um, so back here, sorry, it's a little hard to see. Let me get a flashlight on here, one second. Sorry about that. Okay, so back here we have one here to open up this um, liner, and then there's another one here. So I'm gonna undo these two, I'm gonna pull it back, and then I'll show you the uh, screws on the inside, two of them that hold the bumper in. So for those two, they are going to be, it's going to be a T20 Torx. Okay, I'm going to attempt to remove these Torx here. That should come up by hand now. We have one more up here. Sorry, it's just impossible to see it with this sunlight. But this part shouldn't be very difficult. All right, so now we're gonna pull this liner back. So, let me see if I can show you this screws on the inside now. Okay, this part's going to be really difficult to show you these two bolts on the inside, but bear with me. So, once you undo those two torques, that one and this one, you can pull this headline or the sorry, this wheel well back, this liner well back like this. And then on the inside, if you just go about right here where this bumper starts. If you just look right in here, let me get a flashlight in there. Okay. So there's that bolt and this one. I believe they are 10 millimeters. So I'll go ahead and undo those two. And they're just right on the outside of the bumper here. Those hold the that holds the bumper on on the left and the right side. So I'll go ahead and undo these. There it is. So it's these two 10 millimeter bolts here. Look like that. Throw them in my dish. All right, so that side's done. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start unscrewing the screws underneath the bumper. Um, the ones that go just underneath the lump here. And then I'm gonna start on the top and then I will do the other side. Uh, so I'll just have to turn the wheel the other way.
All right, undoing these are pretty self-explanatory. They're just real quick. Okay. They are 20, T20 as well. All right, so those are done. And I forgot to say that while you're in here, um, when you have the liner pulled back, you should uh, unscrew the light bulb for the fog light as well. Just a, just a twist and it'll come out. So you just reach back here and just twist the bulb to the left. That should just pull right out. Just carefully set it down. Yep. All right. And now we're going to do the screws on top of the hood, under the hood. Okay, so, so it's just gonna be four. It's gonna be this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. These little tabs you push here and it'll just lift right off. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now this, for these top four bolts, it's gonna be Torx T, 25. Yes, 25. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to Sorry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to undo the two bolts under the wheel wall on this left side here and then the bumper actually should just come right off. Um, yep, we'll just, once we do that, we'll just start slowly pulling it off and make sure you unplug the fog light on the other side as well. All right, that came out. Now I do also want to point out that when you are keeping these screws here apart, you'll see a larger one and a smaller one. So this smaller one will go underneath the bumper. So the two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven screws underneath the bumper are the smaller one. And then the ones for the liner, the two on each side for the liner, the four, will be this larger size. So here are the it's the comparison between the two, so, so we don't get them confused. Okay, so that's in there. Now the fun part. Let's make sure I pulled off the fog light. All right, so now you'll want to pull the bumper from this side, right here, where it separates. You kind of just want to pull it out like this and get closer so you can see it. I'll show you what that looks like. So what I'm going to do is right here where it separates, I'm just going to kind of pull it out like this. Like that, see? Should easily come out. Bottom, same thing. You should see it starting to loosen right there. See? It's come off a little bit. And I think it's attached like right, right here. So you just kind of pull this, this part out right there like that. Same thing on this side, you just kind of want to give it a little bit of a tug here. This side, same thing. Right here, just good, pull this out a little bit. It should come out like that. This bottom, there it is. So there you go. So it's actually basically come off already, so let me... It's what's off, you just come off. off. I want to turn this around like so. So 
you can remove this grill. So now, now that you have the grill off, you're going to remove, I think it's the T20 as well. So you're going to get, uh, I think here it's just going to be, let's see, so we're here, 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 all these along here, the bottom, up, and then that one. So just remove those and we'll put the other one on, we'll see how it looks. All right. And I suggest actually doing it uh, from the middle here outwards because the bumper will flex once you take this off. So, we'll go ahead and replace this. Or replace this one rather. This one's actually a, a silver trim, but I did some vinyl work and now it's just glossy black. So, put this one aside. And actually, while I'm in here, I'm going to remove the grills, the fog grills as well. Uh, put this down. Since I have the stock ones, these are the honeycomb ones. So. Push those little tabs. Just come right off like that. Push those little tabs. Comes right off. Put this side. Alright. So we reverse the process and put this back on. So All right. So we're gonna pull these posts back a little bit here. There's like little screw holes we can line up. So if I move this over like this, line this up, up like that, it should just slide it into place. Screw holes are lined up. Up at the top, on both sides. There's actually a little slot here that this goes into, so you just push it in like that. And I would do these first screws up top just to hold it in while you screw in the rest. Don't screw these down too tight because then you could break the tabs. Definitely don't. Do that. Just so it's nice and snug. Okay. These short, there's shorter screws and longer screws right here. These, uh, so you got the shorter ones and the longer ones. The longer ones go around the outside. And these smaller ones here go into these three posts. So I'll do the three posts first. What I like to do is a 
line this first here. Line on this, these two sides here first, and we're just pushing them like that. That's it. And for these, just push this over here. So this part, I feel like it's a little bit tricky, but so this part will push in once you're pushing this part. And if you look here, there's like little tabs right here. There's a tab right here. So these little notches have to pull back far enough so that you can push it into the tabs. So that's what I'm going to do right now on both sides, and then this will just snap in. There's also, there's this little lip right here, uh, let me see if I, this guy right here, that needs to go past this, here, so this little tab here needs to go past right here, so it's going to slide in right between here. Washers. So. Put these ones on now. Another thing. you put this bumper back on, you have to make sure this piece here, this one right here, that the bumper is sandwiched in between that piece so that you can screw these two back on on both sides. Well done. Okay, and that was it. Let's see what it looks like. There's the finished product. Well, missing the fog grill. And here we are with the finished product. I think that looks better, black optics. What do you think? Let me know. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps. Look at that. Beautiful. Hope that helped. Thank you.